the results. Hi, and welcome to my Razorwire slash Rampart tutorial video. This I'll be playing my anti-bomber build of the Razorwire. Um, I already see a bomber on the enemy team, so that's perfect. I'll be able to show uh, how just how well this this uh, build works against that. Um, and I'll be talking about different things that, that you want to be doing when you're playing this build. Alright, so one of the first things you want to remember when you're, when you're playing Razor Wire is off the spawn, you generally don't want to use your full energy bar to get to uh, a satellite. You want to use about two-thirds to three-quarters and then regen again. This means that there's less of a chance of you getting caught by someone out in the open with no engine power. Because if you burn your whole bar and then you stop, you don't have any engine power. With hyperspace beacons, you kind of want to put them behind structures. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is alternating placing mines. For things like EMP, which just happened there, what you do is you alternate. If I had dropped both mines there, I'd have just lost them both. And this way, I, I didn't. And against other bombers... Alright, I burned them both by accident there. But against other bombers, your mines will take out both of theirs. So right now, I'm just kind of line of sighting there's so many people in there. Just hugging the node. Alright, so someone just hit us with burst lasers. Burst lasers are great anti-armor weapons. You can tell by, if you look at the top right of the screen, you'll see that scout with the huge cannons coming out of it. Those are burst lasers. They're really easy to identify because of that. Now we landed the interdiction mine on him, so he's pretty easy to take out once that happens because he's slower than we are. Alright. More burst laser, so we just kind of need to keep Blessing, alternating mines, keep that plating up, and just keep line of sighting. Everyone on their team got off of the node, so we got it. So now I'm staying on this side of the node because they actually have gunships on the other side. I know this because I can tell on the mini map they've got one guy that's just kind of pointing towards me and not moving. That's typically a gunship placement. That's a typical gunship placement. What we also can do is, like, I'm targeting a gunship right now. What I can do is hold the C key, and that'll look at him, and I know that he's on the other side of the satellite and can't hit me. Again, just hold the alternating lines. Against scouts, what you want to do is you want to play right on top of your interdiction line. Right, we're in line of gunships here, so we need to get back underneath. Right, he can see us, so we need to get to the other side. He came around. All right, we're trapped. There's a bunch of gunships on every side. This is just my team not able to clear the gunships for us. So we're gonna try to hide, but we don't have a lot of room. There's another bomber on the node, but again, he's not alternating mines, so. He's dropping them both at the same time. See how his mines are together? So now they both detonated. I'm gonna try to kill this gunship because he's in range. I made a move, that's good enough. Alright, my charge plating's down, so I can't really hit mines or the satellite. That was really bad. But I think hitting the satellite there was actually better than hitting the mines. I don't know, it's really hard to tell. This guy's not moving, so I have plating up, I'm just gonna take these mines. A gunship got me. So hopefully someone's on the node. And no one is, but it's because they have so many people at B, I'm gonna head to A. So when you're on a node like that, even when you're you're losing your shields, you kind of want to prioritize engine power over shield power, and I, I mean by like uh, what power setting you want to be in, because the engine power is what's going to keep you alive more than the shields, because we already have bleed through with charge plating. So again, I used about three quarters of my engine power, and now I'm, I'm resetting, and this makes it so that anyone that comes to try to get me right now. You know, I'll have engine power by the time they get to me. So, we're going to put our hyperspace beacon flat down behind one of these rocks, Enemy and then we're going to get on the node. Alright, the gunship got me with ion, so this just means I'm dead. 
because now I don't have any engine power to get, actually get to the node. I'm going to try to drop a mine here to take a shot, but it, it didn't work. Uh, my plating is almost up, so I'm going to have 10 seconds where mines actually do damage to me here. So I need to be really careful. There's the bomber. He mines out. You can tell by his puffs. And there's my charge button again. So we're good to go. So now, our goal is to land heavy laser shots and the interdiction effect on this bomber. We just drop both mines. My fighting's still up. I'm fine. There's my interdiction mine. There we go. He's just going straight, so this is perfect for us. And then my seismic should be able to kill him. We drop both mines. I have to run a little bit here because my charge plating isn't up yet. It should be up in a second. So, gunship had to barrel off node. That's great. But now we need to line of sight him. So we know which way he went. We need to get underneath the node and make sure that he can't see us, just like that. Now we're capping. Right, so the bomber's coming back, but we got the node. Now our plating's down. He just dropped both his mines. So we're just going to wait here. There's that gunship again. He's setting up underneath, so I'm going to try to kill him before. Now he looked like he was charging me, so I put a seismic down. Someone else got him, though, so that's good. Other than that, it's, it's really just LOSing and making sure you don't run into other people's minds when you don't have to play them. All right, so here's the bomber. Plating's down. You have to be careful here. Alright, here comes my plating. We landed the interdiction. So now he's nice and slow. Now we can just kill him with lasers. There's the other bomber. Let's deal with that beacon. Back up. You can afford to bounce in the satellites because your damage reduction actually reduces the amount of damage you take from hitting things. Just try to get that mine for our teammates. Oh, it's behind a wall. That was silly of me. Yo. Alright, so it looks like they're they're getting C, so I'm gonna go attack B. So normally I like to put my beacon underneath this thing here, because not a lot of players go underneath here. Another cool note is with heavy lasers, it only takes three shots even in power to engines to kill turrets. So you don't actually have to switch to power to weapons to kill them. Oh that might be a proton. Yeah. kind of stuck out in the open there, killing the turrets. So we're going to respawn. It looks like they're all clustering on B again, so I'm going to attack C. It looks like they have one strike fighter on C, so that'll be much easier to get. So we're going to use three quarters of our power, and then stop. This way, because everyone's like 20k out. So if someone came rushing at us, we would have, once they got to us, we'd have engine power to take off and get to the node. I'm gonna put this beacon behind the wall. This way anyone that dies can respawn over here. So put mines down. You never want to put a mine down in line of sight of a turret, because the turrets will just kill it. Alright, so we landed the interdiction on the strike fighter, he's dead, and now we're gapping. Getting all my mines down. There's no one within range. I'm using tab to check if anyone's coming. Looks like this one's scout That's coming. Right Just kill him before he gets here. So it looks like they're attacking A, so I'm gonna attack B. 
Normally you don't have to move this much, but my team can't seem to hold a node against theirs. So again, we don't have to switch out of powered engines to kill these. It takes three shots no matter what power setting you're in. Charge blading protects us against turrets, so we don't have to worry about that. So now there's no one on this node, we're capping. There is a scout coming in. But that's okay. We're gonna go past him. And then we'll come back after. We just need one seismic to land on him. Or an interdiction. That'd be good too. There's the seismic. Alright, so there's a bomber here now. Pop my charge plating. We're ahead in points, so keeping this neutral is very important. Some alternating my mines. Trying to get two of his with one of mine. I'm also trying to dodge these missile locks. And all my mines are currently down, so there's not, not really a point in putting more down. There we go, so. My hyperspace beacon's also still at sea, so that's good. Let's grab some extra shots. Gunship shot me. So now I gotta try to get to the other side of the satellite. Should be able to do it right here. So now I'm checking. Yeah, we're on the right ours. side. Maintain control. So we just have to stay on this side. Try to get rid of this guy. Dead. Satellite Got the note back. Alright, that was an ion hit, so the guys just stay away. Okay, he's underneath the node now, so I need to get up on top. Couldn't, couldn't really time. Alright, so according to the score, we now win with one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn at C and make sure we don't just bo lose both nodes instantly here. Because it looked like they were doing really good at B, and now I'm just going to defend this node. This guy has burst lasers, so we gotta make sure we fight on top of our interdiction line. So, see, now he's interdicted. Now we're all set to win this fight. Because now we outturn him. So you just need to stay right on top of him. There you go. Might do less damage, but we still win the game. I think that's everything you need to know about. Uh... The only thing I didn't talk about is that with the charge plating, if a scout's on top of you and he hasn't been interdicted, you can smash your face into a wall with charge plating up to turn around really fast. And that'll, that'll help you turn. I hope that helps you uh, play some Razor Wire. Thanks for watching.